Hi, Zach Dobson with this week's Friday Photo Tip. Since this weekend is Labor Day weekend and a lot of people will be spending extra time with their families, um, I wanted to address how to get more natural photos of family members. Um, I know a lot of people, your kids might be, especially kids, used to posing for a camera and kind of getting like a fake smile and you're like, well that picture doesn't really look like them. How do I get photos that look more like what they really look like? Um, same thing usually goes for spouses too. So um, there's a few things that I recommend. Uh, first thing, always have your camera, whether it's an actual camera or a phone, keep it nearby, keep it at the ready, make it easy to access. So whenever you see something um, that looks interesting or then you can just, you know, be ready to go with the picture. Um, the next thing would be to find something where they're engaged. Um, that helps them not think about having their picture taken and um, they can look more like themselves that way. So if kids are engaged in an activity, um, playing with each other or coloring or playing with toys or whatever they're doing, um, that's a good time to get some pictures. Same thing uh, if you're talking about adults, you know, if they're engaged in a conversation or doing an activity with the kids, then they're not um, thinking about having their picture taken. And that's kind of the first step to getting more natural photos of someone. Um, then I would say too, uh, it takes time for people to get used to having their picture taken without looking at the camera. So for my kids and my family, everyone just ignores me because from the moment that the kids were born, I was taking their picture and not asking them to pose or anything. So they pay no attention to me. But when I'm around other kids who are used to posing for the camera, you know, uh, it, there are some tricks that I'll do with the camera to try to um, get their picture without them really paying attention to me. One is if you have an LCD screen on the camera that you can use, you can kind of hold the camera down lower where you're looking through um, the camera down here and they have more of a tendency to kind of watch what you're doing instead of looking into the camera lens. Um, so that's one thing that you can try. Um, it kind of helps to be more stealth too if you're, you know, kind of like you're not looking at them but you can look down at the camera. Um, if they do keep looking at you, you know, just wait, take a minute um, and they'll just lose interest and go back to what they're doing. Um, so that's an option. Another thing that I'll do is kind of frame the picture that I want to take and hold it steady and either wait for them to go back to normal or kind of look away and then maybe they'll kind of stop looking at you. So those are kind of some things in practice that I try. Um, also, I'll take a lot of frames, especially if someone's engaged in an action. Um, since they move around a lot or if they're talking, they can make funny faces. Um, so what I'll do is just hold the shutter down with a camera or a phone, take a bunch of frames, and then pick the one that looks the best out of the bunch. So there are some uh, tips to try um, for this weekend. Um, if you use them and post them online, use hashtag ZDP photo challenge and I'll check them out. Uh, leave comments, share them in my stories. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, and I'll answer them for everybody. So thanks a lot for stopping by. Have a great Labor Day weekend and keep it real.